All right, welcome back. This is part three of the dungeon corridor scene, and I've got some lights in here, and I've got a camera now just to show you a few things, but I'm going to go ahead right away and uh, do some uh, additional things that I mentioned in my vlog that I wanted to do. So, for example, uh, I'm going to come in here and drop an edge loop there, right in the middle, and Control b I'm going to split it to about there. We'll try that, and then I'm going to grab those and control B again and we're gonna make some pillars that project forward we'll try it there and we'll see how that looks I'm just gonna push those forward like that so I'll have bricks that come across there and possibly concrete down there and the concrete trim I want to get rid of these top faces now we're not going to need those and the faces below here as well and I just want to look down through here and see if I see them. I think I am going to have to move them closer. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to focus just on that. Look from the front and go into wireframe. And I'm going to box select these. And I'm going to scale them in the X. Pull them in closer. And then I'm going to box select these. Scale them in the X. And then we're going to have a look and see if that is what we need. So we still have clearance for that. And, you know, just in case I, I take a shot, like a little bit there, I don't need to see them fully. I just wonder if they're a bit too wide now. So last manipulation on that. Back into wireframe, box select there. And there, scale in the X. And that uh, was just a very small change um i think what i'll do right now is uh there's this on here let me shut that off for the moment i'm going to select the edges just these ones i don't think i'll do the little corners and i want to put a small small bevel on there like that with three and we got that i can put that back on it doesn't really matter that much at this point all right so we have those there now the next thing i'm going to do is select here shift s cursor to selected and i'll bring in another plane i'm going to make a cross of some sort uh x90 to be right in the middle scale in the x and i'm going to grab that edge and pull it up and uh, we'll do something like this and i'm going to come down to about here control b roll back do something like that and take these E and SX. I think maybe that'll be taller. And uh, maybe I'll take these and pull them down. In fact, it's probably all right. I'll scale in the X, make it a bit bigger and that a bit taller. Something like that. So let's just take that and extrude it back. But we'll get rid of that back face and we'll flip the polys. I'll push it to the wall. I might want it a little thicker. We'll see. And I'm going to try just a bevel modifier. We'll come up to 3. And we'll go down to 0 0.01. And I'll switch the geometry. We may see a small change right here. I'll switch the miter outer from sharp to arc. And round just a little bit. And so I just want that, you know, if you're looking down here, you look through here, I'll look through the camera. That's not necessarily where it's going to be, but that's one idea. All right, so we have that in there as well. Now I'm going to stay organized here. I'm going to actually put that in a collection. One thing, but in a collection of cross, I'm going to drag that up to there. And that's just part of the wall. So everything is labeled and organized. Okay, next thing we're going to do is... Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw this before. And I didn't really change that. I may not. I may forget to. Uh, we got the chains here. And we got the lantern on the ground there. And we have this one. It doesn't have a light in it. I'll have to work on a candle flame. There will be a few modeling things that I won't have time to do in this video. And uh, I may just do them on my own and show them to you and talk to you about them. Uh, I'm just going to come in here and, and bring my 3D cursor there because I want to do something close to there. Uh, I'm going to bring in a cylinder. I'm going to make a barrel. I'm just going to go for 18. Uh, no, you know what? 
I'm I'm going to go for more than that. I'm going to go for at, at least 22. If not 24, you know, why not? All right. So I'm not really making a low poly scene. Uh, let's scale shift Z. Let's start start with that. Drop an edge loop and pull it out like this a little bit and then I'm going to roll up and I'll put in a few segments like that. Okay, let's focus just on that. That may not be the size. I'm going to use grab the top and the bottom face. I'd inset, pull it in, and then E and SZ, and we'll pull it down like that. Okay, good. Okay. Let's take these and um, control B and do it like this. And then let's shift D and P to break them out. I'll scale them out a little bit like that. E and Alt S and I'll pull and they'll come in and I'll get rid of the back faces, take them and recalculate outside. That's probably okay. Let's bevel these. I may do a middle one, I may not. Let's bevel these one. Let's bevel the top and the bottom edges. I can do those all at the same time. I'm just moving along here, trying to get through everything. There's nothing too complicated here. Let's try Shade Smooth and see how she looks. Uh, that's probably okay. And then I'll use Substance Painter to do the um, to do the actual planks. Let's take that and just uh, insert it again to fix that shading. Let's bring everything back and see what that looks like so uh, let's let's create a new collection and call this barrel okay and we will set the origin to geometry i just want it over there in the corner so that it's only slightly visible through here all right and uh we'll take we'll do one more we'll take that and uh, I'll copy it, I'll duplicate it, and move it over here. Just wondering if these are still too wide. Well, I'll look at all that stuff later. I just want that there. And uh, that's good, good. Let's go on and make something like a spear of some sort. So we got the 3D cursor. Let's just uh, shift C, let's bring it back to the center. And we'll start building it here. Okay, let's bring in a circle. Let's go with six vertices. Scale it down. F to make a face. Let's just focus on that so we can concentrate on that. Uh, I think what I want to do is scale that in the Y like that. We might make it a little bit big and then we'll shrink it down. Uh, okay, let's extrude up and scale in. I'm not going to close it and bring it to a point. Uh, and then I think I'm actually going to take these edges here, scale them back out in the Y. Do it kind of like that. And with that done, I'm going to take all of these edges and bevel them. All right, not too much, just a little bit like that with three. I'll even bevel that, even though you'll never see it. Okay, let's just uh, shape it a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna have to bevel that as well. So I'll make sure my edges are across. See the crossing over there? You gotta be careful there, or you can use clamp. Just a little bit like that. Okay, 3D cursor, I guess, is pretty close. And then what we'll do is add a cylinder. This one could be like 16 vertices, probably even less. I'll put nothing on it, It'd be a little bit easier. There I am. I'm going to do that. Oh boy. All right, I'll select that and control L and I'll just scale it down. That's fine. Actually, I'll take this, take it back. Let's uh, move it down and scale it up a bit so we can still get it in there like that 
And then I'm going to take this and E and S come in a bit. And then we'll make the handle for this. Like that. Something like that. Let's just have to make a face, zoom in, and just bevel. And keep it simple. Shade smooth. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we need to do some work here. So come in here, grab this edge here. Come on, there we go. And zoom in on that, we'll bevel that. And I think I'll put a bevel here and then I'll fix the shading there. And that looks roughly okay. And I can put a modifier on there. I don't know if that I would really even need to. Um, so let's bring everything back and see how big this is. Yeah, that's pretty puny. It's more like an arrow. So let's do this. Make it bigger. I mean, there's lots of different size spears. Let's rotate it so the point is on the ground. So rotate Y 100. And... No, let's not do that. We might do that for, for one of them. Let's take this, though, and put it maybe in this corner here, leaning against the wall. Let's just look at that. Yeah, okay, all right. So let's do, let's, before I do that, let's uh, set the origin to geometry. Let's do another one. And on that one, we'll take it and we'll uh, rotate X 180 facing downwards. And we'll just, just po poke it into the ground. I don't know what that's gonna look like. Uh, but we'll just zoom down here. Let's hide this wall to turn off the mirror. Let's take this and just that one. Eight. Okay, let's set the origin of geometry on that. And I'll take this and I'm going to rotate in the X a little bit down like that. And in the Z a little bit, just off like that. Or actually in the Y as well. I'll just have that there just to see if we like it sticking in the ground. And uh, the other one for the moment. Uh, I think I will leave this. I'll just rotate this in the Z, like do something. I think I'll just take this and, and have it standing there. Um, it's not going to be in its final position. Just, just, just have it there. You guys, anywhere near the ground. I get that. It pokes in the ground a little bit. That's okay. All right. So we got the pillars. We got the cross. We got the barrels, we got these. I was thinking of having a couple pieces of pottery down there, but how about we have a look at this uh, with this base material on, on here. In fact, I actually created base material and it's just that color there. And I didn't do anything else, just so everything has base material on it. And uh, let's get that base material. And just something to start with. Let's zoom in on that so we can get these things. Base material in that one as well. And the wall will have that. So I guess everything does. So I've got some lights in here. This is not necessarily the final lighting, but we'll just have a look in Eevee. I've got the freestyle uh, edges on there right now, uh, just because it, it looks kind of nice uh, for the moment. So you can see there's my, my spears there and my, on my chains and I've got lights in the lantern. I don't have a candle flames yet and obviously no materials, but you can see that, or you might be able to see that this one is on. I actually have to remove the light from this one. I want this one off and the, the light off. It's actually tilted a little bit. We just don't see it, but uh, I'll zoom back out so you can see the, the back pillars and you can see this. I was thinking of having a skylight here and I don't necessarily need to poke a hole through. I could put an image with an emission on it of a night sky or just sunlight or something like that. So I don't have to poke through. This one I was thinking of something similar, but it's got the wall there. So I might want to cut holes, I might not. That's something I'm going to think about for the time being. All right, but I maybe I won't do that in video. I'll just show you what I did. But that is it for models except the possibility of a little bit of pottery there. And I don't think I'll put a bunch of debris in this. It's it's looking relatively clean and I think I'll keep it that way, especially considering the style of texturing that I'm gonna do. Um, yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it for now. This is what, well, this is what we're looking at. And uh, I'm gonna come back and show you what I've done if there are any modeling updates and we're going to get into texturing.
the main thing is going to be the walls and the floor and then all of this is going to be concrete which i could do in substance designer or painter it's going to be relatively simple this part and this part the trim that part and that part and the the, the brickwork that's it for part three thanks for watching and we'll see you in part four